Hey everybody, it's everyone's t favorite time of month again. That's right, it is time for real estate statistics. I know, hold your enthusiasm. <laughs> Try to control yourself, make sure you have a, a good grip on your seat because uh, we are in for a crazy ride this month. So not really, it's basically just uh, continuing trends from the previous few months, but you know, gotta talk it up a little bit, it's real estate. You might notice I have some uh, some new items over here. Um, we went to, uh, my wife and I, we went to the Keel and Curly Winery over in Plant City, Florida, lovely place. Um, we went there not specifically to get beer and wine, although we did have some, but this is being recorded in the end of March and early April, as many of you know, is the time for blueberries in this area of Florida. So we went over there for to go grab some blueberries and uh, they were kind enough to give us a uh, complimentary wine glass and a bottle of wine. So uh, thank you very much, Clay, who uh, was the person who invited us and put that on. So let's get down to market statistics. <laughs> so if you've been watching the previous months, you know that the current trend has been uh, we've basically been plateauing. Uh, that trend definitely continues and solidifies this month. So this is market statistics for February 2019. Longtime viewers remember that market statistics lag behind a bit. It just takes a while to put those numbers together. And also we compare these numbers year over year, not month to month. So these numbers are February 2019 compared to February 2018. And the reason we do that is because during the normal course of a year, you have natural highs and lows in the real estate market. So like up north during wintertime when there's eight feet of snow on the ground, uh, not a lot of people going out and buying houses. Here in Florida, we don't really have a winter slump so much, but we do have our own cycle, uh, which usually coincides with the school year. So uh, like August is a pretty bad time to try to sell a house. <laughs> Just to recap there real quick. So stats are year over year. So this is February 2019 versus February 2018. The trend from the previous few months continues on in Pinellas County. Uh, so this is going to be places like St. Petersburg, Clearwater, Safety Harbor, Clearwater Beach, St. Pete Beach, Gulfport, all these lovely places. This is covering all of those. So the overall trend for the last few months has been that home prices continue to rise. However, inventory continues to grow and things are taking a little bit longer to sell. So we've been coming up for the last few years, ramping up, and now we're kind of hitting that that crust a little bit. To give you some actual numbers here, uh, so median sales price is at $265,000 compared to $244,000 from last year. So that's an increase of 8.5%, which is uh, pretty significant. That's actually a little stronger than we've been seeing the previous few months. Uh, average sales price is up 14% to $362,000, and that's up from $318,000 from last year. Median time to contract, so this is basically how long a home is on the market on average before it goes under contract, before somebody puts an offer in on it. So that's up 53% to 49 days. So that's where we're seeing... You know, things are taking sitting on the market a little bit longer. That's followed up with the uh, inventory numbers, which uh, so inventory is the total number of homes for sale. And that is up 15% to 3,429 homes on the market. And that's up from just about 3,000 from the previous year. So month's supply of inventory is always fun to explain because it's, it's kind of a, a made up metric. Um, but it is still useful because it kind of gives you a, a quick gauge for what the market's doing. So month's supply of inventory is if no new homes were to come on the market, how long would it take to sell through all of the homes currently on the market at the rate that they're currently selling? And that number is actually up about 20% to 3.1 months. So that's a pretty significant increase in inventory. Taking all of those statistics and combining them together, what do you get? The answer really is that, we're, like I said, we're, we're, we're in this plateau timeline right now. So there's more and more homes coming on the market for sale. Um, and that does depend on the price point of the houses. So there are some segments where there is still not a lot coming on the market, and I'm gonna to get to those. But 
overall, the market as a whole for all of Pinellas County, and that's from, you know, like $50,000 uh, mobile homes all the way up to like $20 million beachfront houses. The overall trend is we're, we're plateauing and we're, and we're hitting the, you know, we're basically plateauing and hitting kind of top of market. The question is, how long are we going to plateau? And then after that plateau, is the market going to go up or is the market going to go down? Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> I am not a soothsayer. And anyone that could tell you what the market's going to do is basically trying to sell you something. Um, so I'm not trying to sell you something. I'm trying to sell something for you because <laughs> uh, that's my job as a realtor. Let's break it down by price point here. Uh, and I always like to highlight crazy numbers just because, you know, they're the, they're the fun ones. They're the one that gets all the responses on Instagram and Twitter and stuff. So median time to contract, which if you remember, is how long a home sits on the market before someone puts an offer in on it and that offer is accepted. So uh, for <laughs> properties less than $50,000, median time to contract is up 389% to 93 days. Uh, so that's crazy to comprehend how that number is even possible you have to look at another metric, which is uh, closed sales. And we can see that there were literally only two properties that sold in Pinellas County for $50,000 or less. So when you have numbers that small, any sort of shift is going to have a huge impact. Uh, so yeah, so don't, pay, don't pay too much attention to that. It's just a fun metric to, to pull out. Now in the hundred to $150,000 frame, that one is still huge, but that one's that one you need to pay a little bit more attention to. Median time to contract for a hundred to $150,000 houses are up 238% to 44 days. This is important for a few reasons. Number one is there are more houses sold in that price range. Uh, so compared to the 50,000 or under, which was two, 100 to 150,000 has 65. So there, that's a, that's, that's a little bit bigger market segment. It's also one that a lot of people would like to buy in. So the fact that 100 to $150,000 has lengthened so much, so that coupled with the fact that homes 100 to $150,000 actually held steady so far as total number available to purchase. Uh, at, so there was 150 homes listed for sale in 100 to 150, and the median time to contract grew to 238. So that tells me that there's either A, not as many buyers in the 100 to 150 range, which I significantly doubt, or people aren't interested in purchasing at that price point, or the stuff that's on the market just is of no interest to people currently in the market. So basically between zero and $150,000, there were quite a significant drop in new listings. So there's not as many homes, new homes, not, okay, so not new homes, because <laughs> Pinellas County, we don't have too many new homes, but there wasn't as many homes newly listed for sale in February, 2019 versus uh, February 2018. There was 50% fewer, 50,000 and under, which was three, 11% um, fewer in the 50 to $100,000 range, and then 37% fewer in the 100 to 150. And then everything else had, was actually either even or more. So like 200, 300, 400, so those had, you know, on average, more homes available for sale this time of the year versus 2018. And then inventory by current list price, which again is the total number of houses available for sale during a month. Uh, and this is bro broken down by price point again. So there was 40% fewer, <laughs> less than 50,000, which again, I just like those, I like those fun numbers, but everything else, like there was more houses for sale in every price point in February, 2019 versus February, 2018. Um, and then the last one I like to cover is this last page, which is foreclosures and short sales, which those have been steadily declining for years and years. Um, and that continues to be the case. The numbers are so low actually that even if basically a soccer team would be hundreds of percent change. If like if 11 people have a short sale next month, that is going to be a huge percentage number. And I'll be sure to bring that to you. So overall, there's more houses for sale in most price points. Things are taking a little bit longer to sell, but prices continue to go up. Um, so that, which seems kind of crazy, but the reason why is just because there's been so much pent up demand for houses in Pinellas County and people just really love it here. They want to move here. And yeah, 
yes, the prices have just been going up. Hillsborough County is pretty much a similar trend. Um, it's a little harder to pin down over in Hillsborough just because there's so many different types of houses over there. But um, yeah, so that's the overall trend. This is how it's been for the last few months. Uh, you can go back and look at the previous ones. And I was like, well, you know, I was like, this may be the indicator of something changing. And, you know, we'll monitor it for the next few months. This is me monitoring it for the next few months. And this does actually seem to be the, the new trend now so as far as what this means for sellers um, if you have been thinking about selling your house I would highly recommend that you do so now because we are above 2006 levels who could say what's going to happen down the road so if that fits your goals uh, want to do for the next few years then now is definitely a great time to sell if you're a buyer this might be a ray, a ray of hope for you as well because there's more and more houses coming on the market uh, which those of you who, uh, you know, tried to look for a house in the last year or two, uh, you know, there wasn't a lot out there. So, but we're still recovering from those very low inventory numbers. So it might take a little while for the amount of inventory to catch up with latent demand, which is what's causing those prices to continue to go up. Because the stuff, the good houses that everybody wants are still getting bid up. And that's what's causing that. The other statistic I wanted to cover here. Uh, before we go is median percent of list price received. This is a good metric just to kind of see how good everyone is pricing their house. That's really all it does. There's basically, there's two different metrics. So there's the actual sales price and then there's the price that it was originally listed at for sale. So this metric covers the difference between the original list price and what the actual offer and contract was for. So currently, Median percent of original list price is 94.7%. Last year it was 96%. So that tells me that most houses coming on the market are priced higher compared to what people are willing to pay for it than a year ago, uh, which is resulting in more price reductions than usual. That's actually, that's pretty significant. Hillsborough is not quite that high. <laughs> Hillsborough is still at 97.5%, which is where Pinellas has been for quite a while. And the fact that this is below 95% now, like a few percentage points is thousands and thousands of dollars, uh, you know, when we're talking about three hundred, four hundred thousand dollar homes. So this is a pretty significant metric, something I'd also pay attention to, uh, especially if you're in the in the buyer's market. So anyway, my name is Kyle Sasser. Uh, this is Great Homes Tampa Bay. I'm a Tampa Bay native and realtor with Keller Williams. If you would like to find your own great place in Tampa Bay, I'd love to help you. Send me an email, kyle at sassergroup.com. I'm going to put a link to that below as well. So just to make it easy for you, I'd love to help you. If you have any questions, I'd love for you to leave me a comment below. I do one of these every month, so be sure to hit that subscribe button. And uh, just as a side note, I've uh, upgraded the lighting a little bit. So <laughs> hope uh, hope this all looks pretty good to y'all. So thanks for tuning in.